Good morning, seniors. Welcome to Senior Ministry E-Bike Nation. Today we're going to be doing about a 20-mile ride today. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a beautiful day. It's probably 50 to 55 degrees with no wind, so I'm looking forward to get out and riding. We're going to be riding the Cy Rusher Komodo today. And of course, I call it my fun bike. It is certainly a lot of fun to ride, so we're going to be, um, again, doing a... Um, 20 mile ride today and then I've got some exciting news to bring you guys towards the end of the video so if you'll stay tuned for that I will see you on the trail good morning everyone welcome to senior e-bike nation we're going to be doing about a 20 mile ride today. I will not be uh, filming the full 20 miles. I'm trying to cut these videos down to uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll probably uh, get up to the food blessing box. I'll do a little video there. But I wanted to get out. I got my Cy Rusher Komodo, my fun bike out today. Weather's pretty decent. It's probably close to 50. 55 degrees maybe, very little wind. So, really good day to get out and ride. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I got out and rode Saturday a little bit, I think. Um, that's the only day I think I got out. I got out a couple days last week, but had a lot of church yesterday and a birthday party to go to for one of my nieces. So, um, back on the trail today. As I mentioned on my intro, I got some exciting news to tell you towards the end of the video. Stay tuned for that. Weather's certainly starting to change here a little bit. I think we're gonna get an early spring just the way it looks. We got daffodils and tulips starting to come up now, so that's usually the first sign of spring. So uh, we're getting there. Let me know if you guys got to get out and do any riding yesterday or over the weekend. Okay, we're going to pause the video here a little bit until I get up to the blessing box, so uh, stay tuned and I will see you in just a few minutes. Well, we got to go another way today as I turn the uh, corner here to go up the hill. Trail's closed. Do not enter. Two signs across there, so I guess uh, I'm going to have to head towards uh, downtown and instead of going to the food blessing box, I'll have to do that probably tomorrow. <clears throat> but anyway. We're just going to turn around here and we're going to head to downtown Dayton. So I will see you down there. Okay, we're headed towards downtown now. I don't go this way very often, so you guys don't get to see this trail too much. I want to do a little filming along the river up here. Going by the fire uh, station, fire department's training station up here where I got to see my son rappel out of that building up there when he was a firefighter and he got hurt on the job so he had to end that career. see all the burnout places on the buildings where they do their training which I think is pretty cool but we'll be following the river up here all the way into downtown it's only about eight miles from my house to get to downtown but like I said I normally don't do this part of the trail too often I 
I don't think it's one of the safest trails that I ride. So I typically won't ride this very often. With that said, I'm also uh, prepared to defend myself if I have to as well. <clears throat> yeah, the sun was out earlier and now it got cloudy again. But as I mentioned earlier, I think we're definitely headed into better weather here. I think spring is going to come early this year. Just a lot of signs I'm seeing right now. Here in Southwest Ohio anyway. Right now I'm in pedal assist three. And I'm still doing 20 mile an hour pretty easily on this Komoda. see bits of downtown down there probably about three miles out from here boy I see all this dumping of trash down these side roads and it just sickens me people are coming just dump their trash like it's their own little toilet a nice trail to ride a lot of time in the uh, springtime this river will be flooded and it'll cover the trail about another mile from here you can't get downtown it'll stay until that river recedes it'll stay uh, flooded for a while we'll probably see a lot of geese on the trail up here they hang out down here quite a bit. Yeah, I guess city of Dayton's, the water department's having a big problem with these geese being very aggressive on them and chasing them and stuff when they're doing their work. So the city of Dayton is spending $40,000. I think it's for like, uh, they're saying a three-year contract, which I don't know, that may not be bad. But this company is just going to bring dogs in to chase them off, and that's all they do. They, they say they'll go down here every day and chase these geese off. And after a while, it'll probably uh, deter them from bothering these workers. So a pack of dogs, I guess, will do it. Yeah, if they're sitting on their nest, you don't want to mess with them. They're pretty aggressive. better view of downtown there. River's down a little bit right now. But anywhere through here, the trail could be completely flooded in the, uh, mostly springtime. As you can see, all the geese we're seeing along the trail here. Of course, this is a natural habitat for them. And sometimes there may be 15 or 20 sitting in the trail and you really gotta slow down because they don't wanna move. 
but they eventually do. I guess I see them fat tires on this bike and that's all it takes. We'll be changing out batteries again when we get down here. I'm down to about 69%. And I've come almost uh, seven and a half miles. So that's very average for the uh, temperatures we're having today. But I love the cadence on this bike. I'm gonna tell you what, you get a pedal assist three and it is just with ease to turn these pedals. Of course, again, you got all the naysayers that you're not exercising. You're getting plenty of exercise turning your legs. Again, on a 30 mile ride, I can burn between 1,000 to 1,200 calories easily. Of course, I'm not gonna be doing that long today. Not sure what that building is off to the right up there that's under construction. Down here is where I want to put my food blessing box, but I cannot get the city of Dayton to contact me back. I've left them emails, I've left them voicemails. I just don't think they want food boxes down here to draw people to that area because it's kind of what they really focus on for the city is river skate. That's their night in shining arbor as, uh, as far as the city goes. So I think that's more the case is why they won't let me uh, put a box down here. It don't make any sense because this is where we see a lot of food insecurity is right around the downtown area, of course. So I'm gonna look for some other areas down here I could put a food box. be turning and going up the hill right here. About to make it downtown. They got nice condominiums down here. Loft apartments, things of that nature. From what I understand, they're not really very cheap either. You get along this riverscape and you want to live in an urban area, it's going to cost you. A lot of young professionals live down here. On your left. On your left. Thank you. Yeah, this down here is what they call river skate. Got a nice skating rink over here to the left. I don't know what time it's open, but they uh, do a lot of ice skating down here for the public. Don't see a lot going on down here, especially during the winter time or during the week. You don't see a lot of people down here hanging out. But there are a few. Pretty 
pretty busy in the summertime. You got a lot of food trucks come down here and some other people like that, so it's fairly busy. Usually got the fountains going down in here with water in the center uh, retainer stations here. Occasionally I'll get to interview somebody down here that's homeless, either by choice or not by choice. And I always ask them, so. But anyway, we're gonna hop off the bike here in a second. And uh, I'm gonna probably eat a little quick lunch up here. Then we'll head back. They got bike lanes all over downtown. I could just ride a lot of the bike lanes and I'll do that someday. But as you can see off to the right here, we got a lot of the daffodils and the tulips about ready to come up. I was watching them out here last fall planting these and I sit and stop and talk to them a while. All the uh, city people, uh, they're um, maintenance people putting in flowers and stuff, fall bulbs. So that was pretty cool. But we're gonna stop, I think, right up here and we're gonna end the video for now. And I'll, I'll do another short video, I'll video home and we'll put it in a different video. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, get you guys on this quick ride. Sorry we couldn't go to the blessing box. They had it shut off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick overview of the bike so you'll know you've seen a lot of people have seen this but some people have not this is called the Cy Rusher Komoda it is the Cy Rusher's 20 inch by 4 inch fat tire bike and I, it's a beast I'm going to tell you what I paid $21.99 for this and it's best, the best one of the best investments I ever made as far as e-bikes go it's just it's, it's so much fun to ride and uh it's got a 750 watt Bafang hub motor on it. And it's got a turning uh, derailleur down there. And it's got also a uh, pedal assist one through five on this bike. And uh, it's got the buttons over here on the uh, left side of my phone. Well, you just turn them down and go all the way down to zero. If you go up to one, you're gonna get about uh, eight to nine miles an hour. If you go to two, you'll get about 12 to 13. Pedal Assist 3 will get you between 15 to 17, sometimes up to 20. Pedal Assist 4 will get you up to about 23 to 24 mile an hour, and Pedal Assist 5 will get you to about 27 mile an hour. Now, keep in mind that the battery has to be pretty much fully charged um, before you'll get 27 mile an hour uh, on that battery. I mean, It'll degrade pretty quickly once you get into Pedal Assist 5, and you just use throttle only. It's got front and rear suspension, and it's got lockouts, and uh, you can adjust your um, suspension how you want it. I believe that is hydraulic suspension. And the rear has got the suspension under the seat, and it uh, is pretty comfortable. A lot of people told me that it wasn't real comfortable, but I think it is. This is the stock seat on it. I think it's very comfortable, so I'm not changing that out. And it's also got a Shimano 7-speed shifter with Zoom hydraulic brakes. And uh, just a very comfortable bike. I like how they get the wire management here that goes down in, uh, wrapped and down into the uh, down tube. This is where your battery goes. This is a 48-volt. Um, 14 amp hour battery that you just take the key and this thing comes back take the battery out and change it and you got a charge you can pour down here if you just want to charge it there so anyway uh, a couple of the additional things that i purchased on the bike i purchased this side rusher bag um, if this is a little bigger bag than the other one i had and this holds my battery much better so that's the reason i purchased that and the uh, rear rack came with the bike it was part of the uh, price of the bike the only couple things I did add I added a uh, coffee cup holder I love drinking coffee on the trail 
and I added these uh, bar end mirrors as well and of course I added the phone holder I've got these on all three of my bikes and uh, of course it's got your headlights up here and your horn which I never use that I always holler to your left or on your right but uh, some people just don't hear that little horn so I don't use that very much anyway I do carry an extra battery with me which I have today and I'll be changing that out here in just a minute I may not I mean it, we're still showing 70% of the battery so I just may keep this where it's at today and uh, change it change it out when I charge this one and put the other one in when I get home but anyway uh, it's, it's a great bike again this is a uh, bike is called the Cy Rusher Komoda the price of it the last time I checked was uh, $21.99 plus tax um, they have a warehouse out in Utah this bike is manufactured in China of course so uh, they do have a warehouse distribution center in Utah it only took me about seven days to get this bike so once I ordered it, it was pretty quick I've had it since about July of last year so I'll be coming up on a year here in a few months. One additional thing I did order, I forgot to tell you, is this alarm here. And I really like this alarm. I'll show you what it does here. Once I set this thing, I'll show you how sensitive it is. I'll put all this down in the description box on the bike so you'll know all that. But uh, once I set this, it's got a uh, remote here that you set it. And as soon as you hear this second beep, it's set. So, if I just move these handlebars, that's what it does. And if you do it again, that's what you're gonna get. So you can see that is a pretty aggressive alarm. So when you're out like this, and you know you have to step away from your bike just briefly, and I never do, I mean, if I'm gonna even, uh, use a restroom or something I'm gonna get out my uh, little lock rope that I have here and I'm gonna lock it down plus the alarm I mean they can steal these things very quickly so you got to keep that in mind when you own one of these e-bikes it's a very expensive uh, toy you may say so anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed the video share and uh, like the video for me and hit that bell notification to let you know when another video is coming up um, as I mentioned I do have some exciting news to announce I have a um, company out of uh, Florida, I think it's Sarasota, but I'm not sure, that wants me to review their bike. I'm waiting on a phone call back uh, so we can uh, learn more details about it, but um, it's going to be a step-through bike, I think. So I am looking forward for that company to get back with me so they can send me an e-bike so we can have something else to review. So I just think I'd let you know that and I'll put every um, thing down in the comments section once I get the bike. I'll do a preview video on unboxing and assembling the bike and um, anything about the bike that uh, I'll do a little research on it before I get it. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know, it will, I have got some e-bikes coming in, I'm not too sure.